the NFL Draft Bible on location. This NFL Draft Bible Player Spotlight live on location, East-West Shrine game here at Shorecrest Preparatory School with Garrick Dieter, Alabama wide receiver, but we could also say Bowling Green wide receiver. You're one of the most well-traveled players here. You love this game. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Anytime, obviously, um, you kind of want you want to stay at a university as long as you can, but uh, some my circumstances, I kind of bounced around a little bit. Um, I think it benefited me. Um, I think I got so much better as a player, especially transferring to Alabama. Um, I just had a great time. I know so many people have so many resources now, so um, if I do all over again, I'd probably do all the same things. Well, talk about that decision. I mean, it couldn't have been easy. You graduated, obviously, and was able to transfer. What other schools were you uh, thinking about and kicking around? Yeah, I was looking at uh, Syracuse because that's where Coach Babers went, and then Wake Forest because that's where uh, Coach Clawson was at, the original Bowling Green coach that recruited me. So um, I just had good relationships with them. I wanted to see um, our athletic director at Bowling Green actually denied me from going to Syracuse. So I couldn't really go there, so I visited Wake and visited Bama. And, and once you kind of visit Bama, it's kind of hard to turn down. Uh, just everything about it, just the coaching, the players, um, the facilities, just the whole whole town and all the fans there are just, uh, just incredible. Watching you during the season, I felt you got so much better as a blocker. There was a couple of plays you're just wielding guys 20 yards up and down the field. Is that the case, or do you think you were just bringing your same brand of ball to Tuscaloosa? Yeah, I mean, I feel like I've always kind of been the physical player. Player. Um, obviously, in the Bowling Green offense, you really can't show that much just because how fast we're going, and we just got to get lined up as soon as possible. So, um, going to Tuscaloosa, I knew that was going to be one of my jobs was to be, dirt, be a dirty guy and block a little bit. So, once I once I started doing it, um, kind of got back in the groove of it, and and had success doing that. I mean, I had a lot of fun playing playing for those guys and playing with them. Um, it's a great teammates and a great team there. Uh, they call it now Orange is the new fast, I guess, in Syracuse. Uh, yeah. we, how close were you able to watch uh, Dino and then the rest of your crew over there? It's the same offense. Yeah, no, I mean, not to watch. Yeah, no, I pay attention to them all season. Uh, coach Baber was probably one of my favorite coaches I've ever had. He's a great receiver coach, a great a great guy to play for, really fun. So anytime I had the opportunity to watch them, I watched them. I knew exactly what players they were running, so it was good. I think, uh, I think, I think he's got that program turned around. Tell us uh, who you're working out, uh, where and who with specifically. Uh, I'm working out in Orlando out at Tom Shaw. Uh, we got a couple guys from this game that are there, a couple of Alabama teammates. So I'm um, looking forward to I don't have, I've only gone there one day so far just because of the quick turnaround from the championship game. But I'm looking forward to getting there and getting working again. Any other DBs there kind of grinding on you, sharpening your skills, and, uh, and you likewise? We have uh, – Kansas uh, Smitty Smith. Yeah, fish. Uh, fish. Yeah, yeah, fish. Fish is there. Um, I think there's a couple more. I mean, I really didn't get the chance to kind of meet everybody. It was kind of a quick hit on Friday, last Friday. So, um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back there and get working again. How fired up were you when you heard about this? Who did you tell first? Uh, I didn't really tell anybody. I kind of kept it a secret. I didn't really know if I was going to play in it or yet, play in it or not, just because the quick turnaround from the championship. I didn't know how my body was going to feel, but uh, my body feels good enough to be here. So um, I'm here and feel like I'm taking advantage of the opportunity. What would you like to say most? I accomplished what at the East West Shrine game? Uh, I think I just. Uh, I would probably say show people I'm a playmaker. I mean, I can make plays. Um, didn't really have the opportunity that much at uh, Bama to kind of show that, but I feel like uh, I can play any position as the, as the receiver, um, inside or out, and uh, I'll do all the dirty work that the coaches ask. I always love to ask, uh, after your 10-year career, a few Super Bowls in the books, what's your plans after football? What would you like to accomplish outside the painted lines? Uh, I think I want to run my own business. I took a, a lot of entrepreneurship classes at Bowling Green and I'm doing financial <laughs> planning at uh, Alabama master for my master so I'm learning a lot about kind of all about taxes and all that type of stuff so I think just taking advantage of that um, the education I'm getting right now and kind of putting it in my own business I think will benefit me a lot all right we're looking forward to seeing you play on Sunday Gary appreciate it thank you the NFL draft Bible on location <laughs>